you can see I caught a bait size croaker. All right, so we have officially established that there are fish here at the rock. <laughs> Fishing the intercoastal waterway today. A little bit of a different spot than I'm normally fishing. You can see that here I have my stuff set up over here on the left. And this big rock formation here, I think I'm gonna call this spot the rock. So in future videos, when I say I'm fishing the intercoastal, I'm coming to you from the rock, I want you to know where I'm at. And uh, you can see here it's pretty much low tide right now. All right, you see all the rocks are exposed, moss, nice and shiny and slippery. As I told you in a past video, when you come down here and the tide has just gone down, you can see again these rocks are shiny with nice green moss on them and they have mud on them and they are very, very slick. And uh, most of these rocks, a lot of them, also have like oyster shells and barnacles all over them. And again, uh, no place to have your kids just running around unsupervised uh, unless you want to make a visit to the ER. So uh, be careful about that. Um, what's cool about this spot as well is that uh, I imagine if you catch a lot of bait and you don't have a bucket, um, you could actually start a little live well back here. You see here's a, a nice little trapped uh, area of water that I imagine probably makes it back to the high tide with no problem and gets refilled, replenished uh, each and every time the tide comes up. So again, here I am fishing from the rock. Um, I definitely think that this is a spot that I have been overlooking. Uh, I've been here in North Carolina for uh, a good bit of years, but here down in the Tidewater area for about three years now. And uh, this is a spot that I've never really fished. I've been able to see it uh, from the bridge. You see, there's the bridge right there. So I've always, as I've come down, uh, been able to see people fishing this spot from the bridge, but I've never myself ventured down here. Um, I can see why uh, people do like to fish it, though. As I get right out here, probably of like mm, five, 10 yards, it's four or five feet deep in here right close. So uh, I imagine uh, if I'm guessing this right and I have uh, cast it out there and gotten a few snags and everything like that, uh, kind of a scouting trip today. Fish not really biting, but you know, this is a great opportunity um, if you are a fisherman and you have some spots that you've always wanted to get to, but just couldn't get to them because you're too busy enjoying the spots that you love to fish. Uh, this is a great time of year to do that. Uh, go out and scout, you know, just some other places that you might want to fish and test the bottom, you know, because I've been testing the bottom here. Uh, again, did get some snags, and uh, again, I'm thinking that this is going to be another one of those sheep's head spots. So um, I'm going to check this spot out, you know. So again, uh, this is Chris coming at you, OD5, uh, keeping it fresh. And um, again, this is a spot that when you hear me say, coming to you from the intercoastal, fishing from the rock, this is the spot I've been talking about. So this is Chris signing off. From the Rock, here at the Intercoastal in North Carolina, OD5 out, be kind to the fish. <laughs>